what's up guys we are headed to the gym today finally feeling a lot more comfortable again in the gym i took about a year and a half off if anybody is still around from way before you know the gym used to be my life i was in there two times a day sometimes overtraining all the time I just loved it but i left during the pandemic because people were very very unclean over there as it normally is at a gym because everybody's just sweaty working out grunting breathing heavy all over the place so i took a little bit of time off i was getting a little bit burnt out with it anyway but for the last month or so i've been back at the gym almost every single day and man does it feel amazing do not underestimate how positive going to the gym can be for everything even outside of your own physical health like i'm just talking overall daily mood energy levels quality of my sleep is better everybody knows the physical benefits and even the mental health benefits get talked about a lot but just like the quality of life is really the biggest impact for me it's not like it makes me any less uh anxious or depressed or anything like that it just makes me happier when i am happy my dexterity is higher you know stats go up increase the mana pool been really really enjoying making all these moto vlogs every day and trying different stuff just got back to, back to streaming on twitch did an iRacing stream yesterday gonna do another one today when we get home I really miss making content Got a lot of highs and lows, but one thing's for sure, the highs always come after the lows. So that's where we're headed right now. We might do a series of videos that's like focused around food, going to different food spots, filming the ride there, filming the food and like kind of reviewing and talking about it. You know, like standard food show vlog type of content. I think it'll be fun. The first thing I gotta do is think of a cool name. And then I'm gonna bank a few episodes. So I got like three episodes to go right away, back to back to back. So I can give you guys a good introduction. You guys only really see, I would say, two thirds of everything that I make. Because there's a lot of stuff that I just don't put out. And even in the last several months where I haven't been making a lot of content, I have been making a lot of content. I just haven't been publishing any of it. I know that sounds weird, but it's just such a habit in my life. I've been making content since I was 14 years old, Skate 1 or 15. many YouTube channels, I've had many different social media accounts, all varied levels of success. I actually have a boxing YouTube channel that a lot of guys don't know about, where I made boxing commentary videos. I've been all over the place. And just, I, you know, I get really into things and I always follow my passions. I don't always do the thing that's smartest for my career. Like a lot of people think I should still be playing Skater Excel, and while they're right, I would have way more like views and everything like that if I was still making Skater Excel videos and streaming Skater Excel every single day. There's no doubt about that. I don't think I'd be happy though. Not with the direction that Skater Excel was headed and where it is today. And when we all saw the writing on the wall, I just couldn't be compliant in the direction that they were taking it. And I don't know if you guys have caught up with the session stuff, but that's going the same way. Nacom completely purchased Creature. Ma left, one of the original two developers. Pretty sure I just saw a moto cop up there. Yep, right over there. All right, guys. I am going to head to the gym. Got to put my camera away for obvious reasons. And I will see you guys when I'm out. All right, we're done. Sorry if I'm breathing heavily a little bit. Just absolutely killed my back and biceps. Doing the good old bro split. 
Man, feels good to catch up pump again. When I was first started going back to the gym again, all I felt was pain. Pain that I wasn't as strong as I used to be and pain in my muscles that I hadn't used in a year. But after a couple weeks, you get to that point where it just feels good. You get you get there, the warm up gets you excited and energized, the pump gets you feeling satisfied, and afterwards you get like a runner's high. That's nice and relaxing. I really like the visor I have. It doesn't fog up at all. As long as I don't have the chin cover, there's this like little flap that goes right underneath your chin. It's mostly for the winter, but that makes it fog up. But without that, it's perfect. Even with me sweating in here. Damn, this light's taking forever. There we go. Ooh, dirt. There's a lot of dirt and sand right in the middle of the road. Not what you want to see. I just miss shifts. The bike's been running really good lately. Been really happy about how easy it's been starting. Now that the weather's a little bit nicer and it's like 60 degrees in the morning, it starts up right away. Just gotta pull the plunger on the uh, nibby carb. Starts up, wait like 30 seconds to a minute, turn the plunger off and my idle is sitting pretty. I don't know if it's just because I haven't been to the gym in like a few years, but everybody is better looking than they were before. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because I was in way better shape when I was going to the gym consistently before than I am now. But I look around and I'm like, damn, none of these people stopped going to the gym, that's for sure. They were working hard during the pandemic. Go for it, homie. like a nice relaxing cruise after the gym it really cools you down instead of sitting in my hot car that's been beaten in the sun my brakes are getting a little squeaky pretend like I did that rev bomb on purpose all right favorite sign. Oh, squirrel. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know in the comments if you've been enjoying the content. I know it's not really getting the views that some of my old content got, but I am really, really enjoying this. So if you guys like it, please share it and recommend it to people that you know that are into motorcycle vlog stuff. So I know there's a lot of people out there and there's also a lot of channels out there. So sometimes it can be hard to find me. Also, I'll put a link in the description to my solo vlog channel i also made bomoto's vlog the youtube channel where it i'm only gonna put my motorcycle vlog content on there i'm gonna continue posting everything on this channel primarily but i'm also gonna post it there as like a one-stop shop but this will always be the main i just really wanted to try that to see if youtube would be a little bit happier recommending me into the algorithm i noticed the short videos have been working really well in terms of like getting new viewers and new subscribers but 
you guys know me I've always been a, a long form content type of guy so even making like the 10 minute YouTube videos is kind of different so if you want the longer stuff I'm gonna be live almost every single day on my twitch channel links in the description join the discord for all the updates peace out